Okay. So, uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Mart. Um, I work for Colabora Online uh, as a consultant software engineer for uh, two and a half years, I think. So, this presentation is about uh, editing simulation. Uh, so, what is it? It's a tool I worked on recently. It is about simulating the typing experience. It simulates some number of people in the same document and typing some text, basically. Uh, this helps us to check what is going on at the background when people are using Collabora Online. So, uh, why is it needed? So, the performance is really vital when it comes to editing, uh, because it is mostly typing. It is really difficult to measure the performance uh, with single person or even multiple people in the document, because we have to record things at the background, but we can't adjust some variables like the typing speed and, and duration, and we can't be really sure about the issues without these constant test cases. So we, need a, we needed a tool to automate this process and it would give us results that we can read. <clears throat> so with this tool, we can adjust typing speed, duration, and number of people. And not every case is implemented, of course, but we can expand it to our needs and measure exactly how much time a part of the code takes and use this information to fix problems and improve the overall experience. So how does it work? So uh, the tool is written in Node.js. It consists of two parts. The first part is responsible for um, launching LOL WSD instance and other child node processes. It also controls the life cycle of these processes. Uh, the second part is the child node processes. Each process represents the single view that connects to the document and does the editing part. So JS DOM is used in the second uh, second part to load the front end uh, of the Collabora Online, and this part does the connection to the document. And each view jumps to a different location in the document and uh, with different zoom levels, and they start typing. This operation is done by sending commands to the LOL WSD with web WebSocket. And we can have basically references of everything uh, with the help of JSTOM. In this case, we have the reference to the WebSocket object and we use, the, we use it to send the messages. Since um, this tool is only simulating editing, we need to use other tools like Perf from Linux tools to measure the C++ performance and uh, to check what's going on in the background. But of course, we have other tools. Uh, I guess this year, uh, Tor has worked on that to check other types of uh, performance measurements. So uh, to test it, you can go to the Loliflet folder and just type make perf test. So as a conclusion, uh, we discovered some easy, easy problems and uh, several performance gains up to 30%. And one of them re was related to the sidebar. I discovered the redundant 
piece of code in the sidebar code uh, was causing uh, reallocation of the whole sidebar and its child elements on each case stroke. And of course, other uh, other work done by Michael, Miklos, Tor, Noel, and Lubosch. And so I'm sorry if I forgot anyone else. And they did uh, great, great things to improve the performance. And the four sidebar, uh, I this is before my patch, and. Uh, this is this was happening each time we each each case stroke basically and uh, you can see the re dark red uh, line and up and the pile above that it's going up and up and with the one line patch I was able to reduce it down to this and that's all for me.